Hello, my name is Ronnie. I'm from East Germany. My friends usually call me Rocket. And that here? That's Harry. He's from West Germany and he doesn't like to be filmed. Together, we went to Canada in the summer of 2019 to paddle down the Yukon River. 900 kilometers from the Source Lakes via White Horse all the way down to Dawson City. Very much like the people during the gold rush did. Along the way, we encountered some amazing wildlife, enjoyed the vast space of the Yukon territory, and got to know some pretty amazing people. And this is the log of our adventure. After a good night out in Whitehorse, we went to town to get the shopping done for the next stretch on the river. Um, got all the food in, uh, got also a few drinks. Uh, quite handy to have a canoe to travel with. Uh, not all the boxes are booze, just use them for transport. And yes, we also had time to do a bit of sightseeing in town, particularly the SS Klondike, uh, which is a museum now and used to be one of the main steamships running up and down the Yukon. Uh, once we'd finished with the sightseeing, we packed everything up uh, the next day to get ready for the next stretch. Uh, that would take us 320 kilometers from Whitehorse via Lake Laverge down to Kamax. Yeah, leaving Whitehorse, we were quite, quite blessed with the weather, uh, sunny, and uh, the notable difference now was also a very strong current, so you don't have to paddle as much uh, to get the same distance, which we did make use of. Um, again, a lot of animals, uh, beavers and uh, eagles and what have you, and uh, generally speaking, quite enjoyable to be back on the river. Um, heading about 40 kilometers to the next and final lake, Lake Labash. And uh, yeah, pretty much the beginning then we also camped right away to a spectacular sunset. Nice to Very amazing. Schau sie an. Die Papa. Yeah, yeah. Ah, schlecken. Du, ich verliere die Kamera noch. Having bought uh, sufficient flour in White Horse, we attempted also the art of breaking bread. Here the first one, uh, rather blackish. The second one turned out much better after Harry put his kind of magic hands to work and turned the things before they burned. <laughs> so 
So that's an afternoon in the camp. We have stopped because of heavy rain and thunder earlier. Yeah, oh, there's Harry. Harry got the spaghetti, he didn't want lentils tonight. Harry, say something. Sag, sag mal irgendwas. Du, das, das, das geht doch alles auf YouTube. Du musst dich da mal anstrengen. So, die Sonne ist heute mal unser Freund, mal wieder. So, ja, da haben wir so ein schönes Lager gefunden, sehr praktisch. Und der Harry, der kocht mal wieder schön. Stimmt, Harry, kannst du mal... Du, du hättest schon mal umziehen können, du wusstest, dass das gefilmt wird heute. Du hättest schon mal umziehen können, mal die schönen Sachen anziehen für, die, für das Video. Ne. So, ja, heute gibt's... Was gibt's heute, Harry? Spaghetti, ausnahmsweise. Spaghetti, mit was? Salami und Zwiebeln natürlich. Und Getränke? Gibt's auch? Ja, Wasser, ne? Wie immer. Wasser, ja. Wasser. Wasser ist ja doch ganz schön ganz clever hier verstaut in unseren Wassernäpfen. Na dann, guten Appetit. Gib mir mal die Angel. Bitte. Generally speaking, the weather was nice most of the time. We did have some uh, sections of rain, but here in this particular section, it was not just rain, it was thunder and lightning. Um, we don't have on record, but in memory, and uh, we decided to get off the river and actually bumped into some village nearby, pretty run down with some old native kind of First Nation graveyard. Uh, so not time wasted, but when it's flashing and thundering around you, yeah, sometimes it's kind of a bad idea to get off the water. After every storm things get better, like what it was for us, made it down to Carmex, nice campsite there, and uh, went shopping, got three supplies, thought for the rest of the trip, um, having met a, a group of uh, Saxons, two boys and their mom, that proved false, and we had to resupply at least for the beer again next morning, and we also downloaded the software for the drone, so the next episode will have some nice drone footage as well. See you then. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but do comment, ask questions. There's some more information on rocketontour.com. I put the link in the description. You find me on Insta and Facebook as well. See you in the next video. Bye.